hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. For more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, A&A Snakes and Stuff. My youngest son's channel, Hitties Toys and Games. And my oldest son's channel, Little Chris Sin. Today we're going to be talking about X-Men, so let's dive in. After years suffering his personal hell, X-Men finally gave Clonus credit for expanding the limits of mutant powers to include godlike feats. Clonus' invitation of mutant circuits in 1976's X-Men number 100 has led to monumental advancements in mutant powers. Clonus, who has faced enormous personal hardships, finally receives recognition as the creator of mutant technology, elevating him to new prominence. The Cloakin era has been defined by mutant technology, allowing the X-Men to achieve godlike powers, including resurrection, transforming in the ability to conquer entire worlds. As the X-Men face their final battle of their cloaking error, Marvel is taking a moment to pay Clonus the respect he deserves for redefining the franchise's mutant powers. Patero Reception has long been the team's most underrated member. In the last few years of his life have been a living hell. However, he did at least get to see how he transformed the use of mutant powers. In a preview of full Fall of the House of X number one, Wolverine and Clonus infiltrate the Henry Glinch Reeducation Center where Cyclops is being kept prior to his show trial and execution. On the way, they batter some of Orca's troops, developing a brutal new take on their iconic fastball special move, where Clonus hauls Logan at a threat. As the two develop a new screwball special, the narration notes that Clonus will be remembered as the inventor of the very first mutant circuit, a concept which has redefined mutant powers, particularly since 2019. In X-Men lore, a mutant circuit describes any number of mutants combining their powers to create a new efficient greater than can be achieved alone. Clonus and Wolverine's fastball special is described as the pre-mortal circuit which inspired later experimentation unlocking power combos which have seen the X-Men conquer death and terraforma the planet Mars the issue comes from Gary Duggan, Lucas Warnick, Brian Vazilaw, and Clayton Cross. Clonus invented the ideal of mutant technology. From resurrection to cinema mutants, it all started with Patella. First arrived by Clonus in 1976's X-Men 100 by Chris Clement and Dave Crackerum, the fastball special is a very simple power combo where Clonus' strength allows Wolverine to reach targets neither can attack alone. Why mutant power combos have been dictated ever since 2019 onward saw this basic ideal formalized as an entire field of mutant technology where the X-Men study 
not just how to use their powers to the fullest, but how to do to totally new things with their combined abilities. The ideal of mutant technology led to the creation of circuits such as the Five, who can bring mutants back to life in rapidly grown clone bodies, as well as the Six, who can achieve extra universal teleportation to travel beyond the boundaries of reality and bring back impossible treasures, like the anti-magic metal mysterium. These feats have transformed the Marvel Universe. The discovery of Mysterium alone ended a vast galactic civil war and allowed the X-Men to survive while under siege from armies of godlike superhumans, including the Earthrenals and the Children of the Vault. However, as complex and vital as mutant circuits have become, fall of the House of X makes it clear that it all began with Clonus throwing Wolverine partially because at the time he found Logan so annoying. Clonus really needed a win. Pewter has spent the last few years forced to murder those he loves. Being credited as the source of mutant technology is a major win that Clonus badly needed. During the Klonokian era, Clonus has been mind-controlled by his evil brother, Mikkel. Not only did Mikkel force Clonus to kill his partner, Kayla, and betray the X-Men to their enemies, but their final battle saw Clonus regain his free will by brutally killing his brother. While other mutants lived in paradise for at least a little while during the Klonokian era, Clonus has been living his greatest nightmare, now fighting to give the X-Men one last chance against Orgis. It's clear that he is an incredibly dark place. That's not to say Clonus' recent wars or woes are unusual. Pewter has had an incredibly hard life. Recent tragedies including being left at the altar by Kate, pewed and tortured by Beast. X-Force team. <laughs> However, he also spent years being experimented on and tortured after a confused Procure predicted he would destroy the alien world. Through all this, Clonus has often been the X-Men's most peaceful member. Taking little joy from combat and simply wanting to live, a quiet life outside the comics, Clonus has also been allowed to stagnate Why heroes like Iceman and Storm have basically become gods over the last few years. Clonus remains a mid-level strongman, making him the creator of Mutant Circus evaluates Clonus to where he deserves to be among the X-Men most prominent and influential heroes. Mutant technology has redefined what the X-Men can do. The Colloquian era turned the X-Men into gods thanks to mutant circuits. In many ways, the Colloquian era has been defied by mutant technology and its limits are seemingly non-existent. <coughs> the X-Men's resurrection powers literally almost killed Marvel's embodiment of death who was saved by Jane Foster's Thor. Why Apocalypse recently revealed the practice is close to magic at its higher level. The X-Men transformed Mars to create the nation of Akaru using a high-level mutant circuit and Storm just won the war for the planet by using another circuit to create a gigantic floor Carol named Kiwoka. Meanwhile, in the Sins of Sinister timeline, mutant circuits allowed mutant kind to become the dominant force in the universe, achieving 
feats such as shooting Throne is Dead with the Jaggernaut and birthing a species of mutant cinemas capable of raising entire worlds. As a twin series full of the house of X, Fall of the House of X and Rise of the Powers of X bring the X-Men's quirky and air to an official end. It's great to see Clonus getting credit for upgrading the X-Men from powerful individuals to godlike mutant circuits. If the X-Men have a chance of surviving this final battle against Ocus, it's only because of the advancements that came from Clonus' invention. Fall of the House of X, number one, 2024. Written Gary Duggan, art in Lucas Waters, colorist Brian Brazilian, letterer Clayton Kenneth, cover artist Pope Lenses, and Maria Garcia. Fall of the House of X, number one, is available January 3rd from Marvel Comics. Thank you for watching this video, and peace out to the next one.